happy international mathematics day to everyone you know today is what today is international mathematics day and it is also known as pi day yes pi day pi day is that mathematical pi which we use in different formulas and different uh, expressions so do you want to know the magical history of pi so let's go to the magical history of pi so today we are going to discuss about some facts related to pi but why pi for centuries ancient scholars and scientists they have puzzled over this mysterious number what is it what are its uses and how has it figured in history and what is this today is international pi day and pi day is observed on march 14 yes why march 14 because march is a third month of the year and 14th march is the date and you know the value of pi is approximately 3.14 and now you can connect it with the day and the number so pi day is observed on march 14 because the first three significant numbers are 3 1 and 4 it is also called international day of mathematics so all over the world on march 14 we celebrate pi day and international day of mathematics but what is pi how to define pi you can see the symbol here pi is denoted by this symbol and it is it is what it is a ratio it is a ratio of circumference of the circle to its diameter yes pi is always connected with circles so you know each circle has its circumference and its diameter so whenever you find a ratio of circumference of the circle to its diameter you get a constant value which is called as pi and pi is also known as archimedes constant and it is commonly expressed as 3.14 yes i know you all know this value but you don't know the history behind it So today we will discuss in detail about the history of this pi and we always use this pi as 22 by 7 to simplify our calculations but what are the uses where we use this pi yes we always use pi to calculate the volume the surface area as well as the circumference of three dimensional shapes and you must have heard about these formula and you must have used also in your calculations that circumference is pi times diameter and what about the area of circle area of circle is also pi r square so you can see here also we are using pi so pi has different uses okay now did anyone discover pi from where this pi has come historical records do not clearly reveal that who discovered it first but we know this thing that some ancient civilizations like the babylonian the egyptian the greeks and the chinese they all tried to approximate pi through different ways so you can see it here that babylonians they gave a value of pi as 3 which was later changed to 3.125 now let's see how this pi changed from 3.125 to 3.14 after babylonians egyptians yes egyptians used value of pi as 3.16 045 or in fractions 256 by 
and after Egyptians, Archimedes, who is considered to be one of the greatest mathematicians of all the time and is also called the father of integral calculus. He developed an accurate method of obtaining pi. He drew a regular polygon inside a circle and one another circle outside it. And after this, Chinese mathematicians also, Chinese mathematicians, they took the value of pi as 355 by 113. And they expressed pi accurately up to eight decimal places. Yes, you know, pi is an irrational number. Irrational number means which, yes, which has decimal expansion, but it is non-terminating decimal expansion. So they expressed pi up to eight decimal places. And after that, in late 1600s, Newton was able to calculate. Yes, Newton was able to calculate its value up to 16 decimal places. But how? With the help of the use of his binomial theorem. So till 1600, we got the value of pi up to 16 decimal places. And after that, by 21st century, computers came and computers were able to express pi up to so many decimal places. You can see pi is 3.141592653529. And up to many decimal places. This is the history behind pi. And now pi is still puzzling us and amazing us day by day. And we people are using different techniques to memorize as many digits of pi. And now you can see why pi is very important. Yes. I is celebrated all over the world on March 14 and is known as Pi Day, which we are celebrating today. Now, after this, I have a Pi Day challenge for all of you. Now, you can see in this table, I have made different columns. And what we have to do in this, object, circumference, diameter, and pi. We will take different circular objects. You can take a bangle. You can take any circular ob uh, object of different radii. And you have to calculate the circumference. Circumference you can calculate by measuring it with a thread. Diameter you can check with the help of a scale. And take minimum three objects and find the value of pi. Apply the formula circumference divided by diameter. And what will happen when you calculate the pi values for different circular objects? Will it be same or it will be different? Yes, it will be same. Why? Because pi is a mathematical constant. So its value will be approximately 3.14 every time. So this is a pi day challenge for you. So happy pi day. Once again, to everyone, thank you so much and keep practicing this and keep doing this Pi Day challenge activities, celebrate Pi Day and do something related to Pi, uh, do some activities related to Pi, tell your, the history of Pi to your, with your, uh, to your friends and amaze your friends by telling this magical history of Pi. So happy International Mathematics Day to all of you. Thank you.